Listen, everything we do, there are good things and bad things from a drug, from a vaccine. We did a video almost a year ago talking about uh, a vaccine. I think the time was even on the market was about to come out. Got us all. And we thought it was a great idea. It makes a lot of sense. Seventy percent of the cases of HPV could be, if we get them early enough, excluded. It made a lot of sense. It was a little bit expensive, 400 bucks to give three doses. And someone sent me an email, a guy called the anti-terrorist. I, 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 you know, I didn't know about it. There were three deaths reported by the FDA. They gave me some links. They showed me 11 deaths. I know they're all related to this because sometimes you give something. The kid's killed by a car. The kid was going to have a stroke that day. But it bothered me a little bit. So I did some checking. Now they're telling us if you give the kid this vaccine, you got to watch it for 20 minutes because a lot of kids will collapse. There's somewhere 1,500 reported cases. And half the doctors, and maybe more. If a kid collapsed in the office, you gave him a shot, you don't call the FDA. You don't report it. Because you think it's a hysterical conversion reaction. You say, look, the doctors in the medical school, they've got the blood drawn the first time. You know some guy collapsing, now he's an open heart surgeon. We know that goes on. So you wouldn't think that's a big deal. But maybe there's a mechanism going on where they get a little dilatation of the blood supply of the brain and they collapse. And then a couple of these cases, they had strokes or something like that or, or, or some kind of clotting in the heart. And I called up the FDA and they called me back. They said, we're watching. We don't think it's a problem. I, I called CDC. I didn't get a call back. I called two neurologists. We're kind of interested in my theory. I spoke to a, a, a prominent immunologist. You know, listen, we, we give vaccines and, you know, it's coincidental. But he said, you know, you should think about it. And I'm here talking to you. Is there any time you can give a drug or a vaccine and get a vasodilation action in 20 minutes, something could happen to the blood supply of the heart or the brain that two or three weeks later you could get a clot? Is that possible? I'm saying it is with this. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's uh, it's a possible uh, mechanism. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, We're going to say it is. We're just saying, but it, it, it's a little bit of a red flag, wouldn't you say? Well, anytime you have uh, some uh, significant event, uh, deaths or major uh, medical uh, complication uh, that are associated uh, with anything that we do in, uh, in medicine, uh, that, that's something that is of concern. Um, you know, if you look how studies are done, um, the, uh, essentially every adverse event is reported, uh, is reported uh, including the patient who gets hit by a truck and uh, uh, dies while is part of the study because it is considered an event, uh, and then eventually gets sorted out whether or not... Well, chickenpox, the about. disease, there was, a, there was a question mark if kids could get strokes, the vaccine came out, and the a little concern about that. I don't know there is a link, but what bothers well, me, maybe doctors wouldn't think if someone got something today, two to three weeks later they had a stroke and forgot they got the vaccine. Could there be any kind of association? Uh, I mean, the association is obviously possible, although we don't know that uh, it is true. Um, and that's one of the reasons why, for instance, uh, the FDA does what we call the, the post-licensing uh, studies. Uh, and actually, this is an area uh, that uh, has gotten a lot of attention recently, because although uh, the FDAs and the pharmaceutical companies, uh, I guess, try to do their best effort, in order to assure that a drug is uh, both effective and quote unquote safe uh, for the particular purpose that they use. But um, once you put it in the field, uh, you learn more. Well, you give cancer drugs, mm -hmm. and they're very powerful. You, st you give it an injection, you don't want them to walk out of here in five minutes. You watch them sometimes an hour or two. Uh, yeah, I mean, and again, it depends on the drugs, depends on the the type of experience that we already have. Obviously, there are drugs that have been given for 30 years for which the, uh, the effects are fairly known and uh, 
uh, we have less concerns. There are others where we know that there is a concern because there is a potential risk. And there are others where we may not necessarily be 100% sure, so we're more cautious. See, my way of thinking, we, if a doctor writes for a new drug, the patient should get something from the pharmacy say, this is on the market less than two years. Because you don't know a five-year side effect in a drug that's only been out for two years. And it's, it's not fair. And there are three drugs in the market, one off of 10 years that's effective, relatively inexpensive, and there's one that's new in the market. We, in theory, it makes sense, but maybe not proven. We just had a problem with one of the cholesterol combined drugs, and it turned out the theory didn't work, but they sold, I don't know, four, five, ten, and who knows how many billions. But what bothers me is most doctors aren't aware how long it's been on the market, and they don't know the cost. And look, this vaccine is $400. I did some calculations. To save one life and one website, and I, that was the low end, it's $60 million of vaccine to save one life. Eventually, as you get more of it out there, in less cases, that number might come down. But right now, it's $60 million. One site said 900 and I don't believe that. There's no price in a child's life. But now you're talking a question mark of some deaths, maybe nothing to do with the vaccine. But I have a red flag, and I have to give this stuff. And I don't know if I want to until it's clarified more. Because if I gave your child a vaccine and I didn't do my homework and something happened to the kid, how do I look you in the eye the next day? Well, again, you know, as we practice medicine, we all have to um, deal with uh, this issue of first do no harm. Um, and if uh, data that you encounter uh, about anything, whether it's a vaccine or a drug or whatever, uh, makes you concerned. Uh, it is your responsibility uh, to uh, A, inform yourself the best you can, uh, B, uh, if you have doubts, then perhaps not. Well, I'm trying to mandate it. A company put pushes in many states, like Texas. I don't want the vaccine mandated. I want the parent to get the facts the best I can give it to them. What I think on a personal that they can ask me, I'll try to give them what I think. I gave a couple of doses to my granddaughter. I'm concerned. But I don't think it's a problem. But I got a little thing in the back of my head that says, oh, this can come back and harm me. So they make a decision. And I help the kid who gets the shot, who could be 15, she say, look, I want, I don't want. Look, I, I think my, my children. She got married in a white dress, not an off-white dress, but today maybe that's not true anymore. And you don't get HPV just from having sex. You could fool around touching the area. Mm -hmm. A condom doesn't give you 100% protection yeah. against anything anymore. Yeah. So it can be spread other ways. Right. And you have the most beautiful little daughter that's 16 years old right. and goes to church every Sunday, meets Prince Charming, and you know how boys are, and, and talks these kids into anything. And it's too late. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the right answer. But the right answer should be is don't mandate it because if something went wrong and the governor of New York or someplace mandated, who's at fault? The governor? Me? Who didn't speak up? There's got to be mm -hmm. a, a give and take. It's too new to mandate. Right. If it's proven or better vaccine comes out and it's proven to have a good track record, I don't want it mandated even then. You know why? Because if there's any chance of anything going wrong, and there is, and anything we do, I don't want it. Mean. Vaccines that you could spread the disease from a kid to kid in school, like whooping cough, we won't argue. But this one, right. that's a social thing. It's not something you're going to spread right. in the classroom by kissing or throwing or spinning. This is a different disease. And I, I hope I'm wrong, the right. concerns I have, only because I care. Yeah, no, I mean, and it's, uh, it's a reasonable uh, concern. And so kids, it's not a nice disease. I mean... Uh, on the other end, uh, you know, I mean, as I said, the, the issue is uh, over um, time, we have seen over and over that uh, uh, drugs have come and go. have been used and eventually they've gone because uh, in spite of all the studies before the release, uh, eventually something have come up 
during the use of the drug that was not anticipated. I mean, you use powerful cancer drugs, and you cut the doses down as you learn that you can use a lower, safer dosage. You Absolutely. did not know that the first, maybe the dose that's in the vaccine eventually could be reduced, and maybe so. Who knows? No, I mean, I, there is no argument that uh, a certain amount of caution is uh, uh, important. Every but we both so. believe if it worked, it was safe. It's a revolutionized. It's a we don't get a cancer because we prevented the one of the causes. Okay. That's a great idea. Absolutely. And you know, Merck shop and vaccine. I don't know about the other division. Chicken pox took 18 years or so to get in the market. They had a little question about one vaccine. Then they wait the FDA say you take it off. They took it off. They checked it. That you called them up. I had a kid who was on steroids. I was afraid to get the kid measles. They were. They guided me through it. You call them up. These are ethical people, sure. and I'm sure they're thinking about this as much as you are talking about it. Absolutely. But, you know, if you're involved selling something and you did all that work, it's hard to say you did anything but the perfect thing. Your child does something wrong in school, the first thing can't be my kid, it has to be the kid next to the teacher. That's how we are. 